Okay, I booked the bus in um, for its uh, inspection and I rang the engineer and uh, I've had conflicting information in regards to the drawers and the doors. Um, but the engineer said that he wants all the drawers and doors in and every door and every door has to have an individual lock. So it's the 11th hour and I am working back now to try and get that done before we take it down to the workshop. Um, I've got over 25, I've got around 25 doors and locks, um, or 25 locks, including the drawers, and about 22 doors. So there's quite a bit of work to do. I'm trying to do it now, and we'll see how I go. I'm building the drawers and putting on the doors for the cabinets today. Um, I bought it in a flat pack, so it's all pre-cut. Um, there's a little bit of adjustment to do for the bottom drawers because um, I've put the bracing in there and makes them a little bit shorter, so there's a little bit of cutting to do, um, but pretty much ready to screw together. Okay, here are the drawers um, that have been made. Uh, the glue is still fresh, so it's like slightly sticky. So I pre built the first one, make it a little bit easier, it is quite awkward. Now I have to put the, uh, the covers on, um, and then the handles and of course the locks, but I'll probably do the locks and the handles tomorrow. Um, the handles are easy enough with the system that I've got, I think I've shown you before, when you create a, um, a pattern and pre drill the holes, so that's all set up, so I should be able to do that reasonably quickly. But the bases and the sides on where the bracing is had to be cut back, so I did that with the saw, it came up all right. Um, there's only minor chips in there at the back and you can't see them. Come in two sizes. The smaller ones I've put down the bottom with the smaller handles. Um, mainly so you don't bump them and so on. And then the larger ones I've used for the overhead cabinets. It's a lot of fiddling in. To get some uniformity, I've made this pattern uh, and a couple of others. There's a bit of variation in the cabinets, as you can imagine, um, depending on where they're, where they're situated. And uh, that at least is allowing me to get some uniformity. I've just spent the last day and a half putting push button locks on all the cabinets. I've got 25 of them. They are. That's how they work. Push button. And with the drawers, that was a bit of a challenge. The thing about drawers is there's no way to actually secure them on a solid anchor. So what I've done is I've secured the first one and then I'll put the second one which then secures to the top one and so on. <laughs> 